That flame will be burning once again in a little less than seven years and at the 2028 Olympic Games, which will be upon us before we know it. And it's going to be incredible, thanks in part to the lady who's with me right now, Kathy Carter, the Chief Executive Officer of LA28. Kathy, it's so lovely to welcome you in here to FanFest. First of all, what do you make of the crowd? What do you make of LA FanFest? Well, let me start by saying, come on, you Spurs. Oh! I know you love football, I know you were a goalkeeper, weren't you? Let's talk Olympics. What does it mean to you to bring the Olympic Games back to LA? Well, I mean, you mentioned 32, 84. To bring it back in seven short years, here back to the Memorial Coliseum as the heartbeat of what will be an unbelievable showcase for Los Angeles, it's, uh, it's nothing short of a dream. How would it be different, do you think, LA 28 to previous Olympic Games? Well, probably the biggest difference will be the fact that we'll host for the first time. Well, it'll be the third time for the Olympics. It'll be the first time for the Paralympics. Uh, and so to be able to host those games here in Los Angeles and actually here at USC, the Coliseum, will really be the heartbeat of those games. Uh, it'll be very exciting for us to really showcase the Paralympians. I, th I think somebody, big round of applause, absolutely. I think for somebody who doesn't live in LA, it, it, it doesn't always ring through just how much of a sporting city this is. So how much for you does the Olympics fit right into this city? Well, you know, it's an embarrassment of riches we have in Los Angeles. You know, we are no-build games because with the Coliseum and so many other incredible venues that we have, there's nothing that we have to build, uh, which means that we can focus on all of the other things that we can do to leave an impact on Los Angeles. And whether that be sustainability or bringing youth sports to kids in LA, there's just so many opportunities we have beyond the games themselves. It sounds to me like you have a lot of work on your plate. So over the course of seven years, how do you structure that, Kathy? I mean, being the CEO of LA28, how do you begin to structure a seven-year plan? Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, it's a, it's a series of small steps that lead into a huge event. Um, and right now we're working on all the, the foundational elements of what kind of organization. We're a small and mighty group, it seems a lot of 100 people, but we'll grow to be five or 6,000 people before the games actually are here. So actually preparing for that, you know, you're a startup organization, guaranteed to be a Fortune 500 company, and then guaranteed to go out of business. <laughs> Fair enough, at least you know what you're getting yeah. into. And just finally, West Ham Tottenham today, give me a scoreline, Kathy. Big Spurs fan. I, I'm going 3 1 Spurs. 3 1 Spurs. That got a few cheers. It also got a few Arsenal boos as well. Kathy, thank you so much. Pleasure to have you here and best of luck the next seven years. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hi there. I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7 a.m. Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock, where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.